Y'all see the thumbnail and you see how I have a title where it says TJ Holmes is now a marked man. And that's based on this story that you're about to hear. I think it's safe to say that that's a great assessment. So we all know that that's TJ Holmes right there on the right. But the woman on the left, her name is Jasmine Petaway. And at the time when she was 24 years old, back in 2015, it's been alleged that TJ Holmes had sex with her. First of all, this woman is 24, not 14. And while the only thing he violated was the policy to not have sex with his coworkers, we now see exactly what they're doing. And Harvey has talked about this on his channel quite often where they do not like the fact that this black man was sleeping with this white woman, you know, being his now former co-host, Amy Robach. And it's not even a thing of they don't care if he like cheated on his wife or whatever the case may be. It's the fact that he slept with her. He she was the object of many PC men's fantasies, apparently. And they were upset that this <clears throat> this black buck got to her first as if many of them had a chance to begin with. So now they are disrupting this woman's life who apparently had no problem with it. She didn't come forward and say anything about the relationship they had because this happened back in 2015. It's now 2023. You're talking about eight years ago or almost eight years ago when this alleged sexual encounter occurred. The only other thing that he, the crime, if you want to call it, that he committed was him clearly cheating on his wife. Because I believe TJ Holmes was married to this, his wife, well, ex-wife at the time. So this guy just has infidelity issues. Clearly, that's basically what it is. If this is indeed true, because it says that it's alleged. But I'm going to go ahead now and read this article coming from page six. TJ Holmes al allegedly had sex with a much younger subordinate while on the job. A source claimed to DailyMail.com on Thursday that Holmes had a months long affair with Jasmine Petaway, then 24 in 2015, while the currently suspended GMA3 co-host was married to his now estranged wife, Marilee Feebig. If I'm pronounced, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing her name. He was, quote, this is what they said. He was a predator who took full advantage of his position and he was reckless, claimed the source, who reportedly knew Petaway, a script coordinator, well at the time. Look at how he's been labeled. He's now been labeled a predator. That's one thing or one label that you do not want to have put upon you, especially as a man in this establishment, a black man at that. Goes back to why I said that TJ Holmes is now a marked man. Now, what's interesting to me is that he had this alleged affair with this woman back in 2015. He sleeps with Amy Robach last year, as far as we know. That blows out of proportion. He gets removed from GMA3 as well as her. And they bring this back to the surface, and now they want to label him a predator. My thing is this. Why didn't they bring this up all these years ago? They waited until now to do this. They were waiting for a scandal to kick up or some controversy to now bring this up. I'll tell you, the media is not slick. They are not slick at all. But like I said, as a black person, you got to be on your P's and Q's because they are looking for and willing to sit idly by to tear you down at an instance. Because up until this point with TJ Holmes, he had a pretty squeaky clean record. But And then this happened and now everything is not. Let me put it like this. I have a feeling there's going to be more that's going to come out. They are going to go and drag this thing for as long as they possibly can. Because like Harvey says on his channel all the time, they need a new nigga of the month. And they've been going through a dry spell lately, especially with all the stuff going on with Dana White. So they need something as a cover to get that. Brett Favre, they, I still check Google every day to see if there's anything new to come about him. It hasn't been anything reported for like the last month or so. But I'm still checking. But they need to find a way to give them cover. And TJ Holmes right now is the best they've got. It was Jasmine's first real job in television, and it was a big deal for her, continued the source, who spoke to the outlet on condition of, of anonymity. Anonymity. She was looking for a mentor, and she reached out to several people. TJ was someone who was responsive, but he absolutely abused the position of trust. According to the reported insider, Petaway and Holmes, who joined the ABC News team in September 2014, often worked the same shifts. Holmes was someone who would grab drinks, and he and Jasmine started doing that. 
the insider claimed, noting that Holmes, now 45, was a correspondent at the time. The informant went on to allege that the first time the pair's relationship got sexual was in his office only a couple of hours before he was set to go on the air. I want to know who this source is. Because if it's not her, I can only take their word at face value because, mind you, all these allegations are not even coming from her. It's coming from some phantom source that we don't know who it is. So this story seems real fishy to me. This seems real suspect. The end side of claim to the male, they had sex, and I know she was confused afterwards as to what it meant. According to the source, Holmes' alleged behavior with Petaway was not uncommon, but rather part of incredibly reckless conduct on his part. I hate the fact that they are trying to really make this woman seem like she's a teenager, or was a teenager at the time she was 24. But the way that this source, quote unquote, is making it out to be, it seems they're trying to make it seem like this woman doesn't or wasn't completely in compliance with what one that she should not have been doing this with her job anyway, because I'm sure she read the guidelines about having sex with coworkers in that environment. And two, she's an adult. She's a grown woman. So it's not like TJ Holmes, from my knowledge, forced her to do anything. But this so-called source is trying to make it seem like he was aggressive or he was this predator. But again, if this is not coming from her, I can only take with a grain of salt of what this so-called source is saying. The anchor even allegedly once got handsy with Petaway in public while they were having drinks per the report. And again, we have not heard her say anything in response to this saying that she didn't like it or respond to it in a negative way. Again, And this happened in 2015. But let me continue. He just didn't seem to care, the source said, claiming that Holmes was wearing his wedding ring at the time. The pair alleged affair fizzled out after a few months, leaving the insider wondering whether Holmes was ever interested, I'm sorry, invested in being a mentor at all. He had it all on his terms. He was interested and then he wasn't. The informant claimed, adding, no one talked about abuse of power back then, but stuff happened. An ABC source tells Page Six exclusively that there is already an internal investigation underway into if anything happened between TJ and Jasmine Petaway. She was only at ABC News for a short period of time, but if they did have an affair when he was her superior, this would be a huge problem for TJ, our source adds. Holmes' workplace behavior first made headlines in November 20. I'm not even going to go into that because now it's going into a backstory about what we already pretty much know. But yeah, I don't trust this source as far as I can throw them. How is it that this so-called source knows all of this stuff going on, but the person that TJ Holmes allegedly had an affair with hasn't said anything? Now, this woman's probably quiet life has been uprooted and made a, made a bunch of noise in her faces out there. So now this source, quote unquote, done made life a little bit more noisy for her because, you know, they're going to try to find her and stick cameras in her face and ask her a whole bunch of questions. But we'll see how, we'll see if she says anything and if it lines up with this so-called source. But again, this source seems really, really shaky to me. But like Harvey says on his channel all the time, they need a new nigga of the month. And I guess this month belongs to TJ Holmes. It probably has belonged to him for the last couple of months, honestly. When you think about with everything that has come out in December about this or late November or whenever it was. And now you have this coming right back behind it. They won't drag this out as much as they possibly can. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to do some kind of a special quote unquote, like they did with the surviving R Kelly thing and nothing. That's crazy that they even have a, was it a third part? What are they going to do this? A, a, another part in January, 2024. Cause it seems like they love the month of January, but as for TJ Holmes, he probably sitting there saying to himself, who would have thought that me just sleeping around on my wife with my coworker would have led to this again. If, if this was say, if this Jasmine Petaway say that this was just between them, they would not have made a big stink about it. And clearly they didn't. But when it came to Amy Robot, because she's a white woman and she was out there like she was her face was on camera and out there. This woman was more behind the scenes. So you didn't see her. That's why they made a big deal about it. They are going to Jack Johnson, TJ Holmes. Like that's literally what they're doing right now except they're not running him out of town they're running him out of his job 
This is something to really think about when you put it in hindsight.